Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll be talking about a sparse calculation And remember This is continuation of the last lecture In the last lecture We have learnt How to calculate a sparse Per highways Having no camber on its surface Or having no transverse slopes Alright, it's, it's right uh, here in this part, which is part 2, we'll be just learning how to calculate as parts per those highway having cambers or slopes in transverse direction. Actually, in this presentation, we'll be covering about camber and of course the super elevation. How can we calculate as parts when the road have super elevation? Actually, nothing is different in a spot calculation for these guys with respect to a uh, dead highway we have done just uh, in part 2. Alright, it's good. And of course, for better understanding, we must have an example. So, here in this example, actually, this is example 2 because example 1 has been done in that uh, lecture, which was part 1. But uh, don't worry, let me call this guy you are here as example 1. Here in this example, we are asked to calculate as parts and of course in tons. Just remember this guy you are here. The road has 300 feet long, having 200 feet breadth, and the thickness or depth of this as part layer is just 6 inches. Alright, and we are just informed to take. 145 pounds per CFT dense as part. It means this is the density, alright? Just look, who are here? It's a camber. It means it's 10 feet uh, to left side and 10 feet to right side. So the total becomes just 20 feet. But why should I take the slope distance or this slope breadth? Why shouldn't I take uh, just this uh, horizontal distance or this horizontal breadth. Just look over here. If I take this horizontal breadth, this is much least with respect to these guys, which are slope. And remember, the slope distance is always greater than the horizontal distance. Actually, we must uh, take this guy, the, the effective or the mean and this mean length, all right? But you can clearly see this mean length or this mean breadth is equal to this, uh, this guy, which is the upper surface. And the layer is completely symmetrical. It's just like a rectangular prism. Here you can uh, clearly notice that uh, just the camber uh, doesn't have any effects on the quantity calculation, all right? So the quantity will be the same we did just uh, in the last lecture. So all data is given. I must come straight into solutions. And in the solution, my approach is weight up a spot required just for this highway. And the highway is length, this one, and 20 feet breadth, and the thickness is 6 inches. Alright, just look. It's, it's quite simple. I just need to uh, multiply density with volume. Alright, we have already learned this guy in the previous lecture. But according to conditions, I have no volume. It means I must just pass calculate the volume of this highway or uh, of this aspart layer. So the volume is always length times breadth times the thickness of anything. Alright. Actually, the formula may be written in different forms uh, when the shape uh, just change, alright? Uh, like you can clearly see, uh, if you take uh, like a pipe, what will be the volume? It means the cross-section area times the length. Alright, you can clearly see the breadth time thickness just means the cross-section area and the length of course. So the formula will never change, alright? With changing the shape. So, just plug and check in, the volume must be length, which is 300 feet. 
times breadth which is 20 feet times thickness which is 6 inch it means it's 0.5 feet all right so you must get the volume equals 3000 cubic feet so we got it we can just put this guy over here in this equation we can get weight of a spot equals the volume this one we just did uh, calculate this guy a few minutes ago 3000 times the density is given over here look over here in the examples terms so times 145 just do little mathematics with this guy you must get 435 and triple zero pounds because the density is in pounds all right just look at our hair, the first line, or the first sentence. We are just asked, or we are just demanded to take, uh, or to calculate as parts in tons. Just look, this is pound. We can convert this guy into tons. Just divide this guy by 2204, because 1 tons equals 2204 pounds. When you do little mathematics with this guy, you must get the weight of as parts 197.3 tons. And this is what we want. This was just our approach. And we have done it. Now, what about this section? A road having super elevation. Let me just show you another picture over here. This one. You can clearly see in the normal straight road, the super elevation is is just a, a camber slope to both sides and in transition curve you can clearly see the one side is plate and the one side is in triangle shape look at over here in circular curve the super elevation is completely a triangle and so on but remember in a spot paving the section of the cross section of a spot layer must be the same at every point just let me give you an example all right just look at over here to this guy the section is completely triangular should i pave the spot in triangular shape no of course not it means the spot section must not be a triangular or any other shape except a uniform shape like a rectangular shape all right the section must be rectangular it means but how how it is possible the section will be a rectangular then uh, the super elevation uh, will be just uh, like nothing how how can you gain a super elevation with a rectangular section is it possible of course not but it is just look the super elevation can be just provided in water bound macadam road or in sub base all right and the spot is just base or topping just look over here the spot layer must be in this shape when we have a uniform shape look at this section it's rectangular and over here it's also rectangular it means the spot layer is uniform at each section. I hope you are understanding. And this is the same method for a spot calculation we did a few minutes ago just for that road having camber. Alright, we just need the volume and we'll multiply with density, we can get the spot weight. Another requirement of a spot for any highway. But, but look at over here. How can I find the volume of this guy? The volume must be the same, the cross-section area times the length. But the length here will be just the central length. Because the external, this one, is larger. And the internal is just minimum. It means we must need to take this uh, mean length, alright? I think for better understanding, we must have an example. Just look at over here. In the example, uh, it's also plus, it's just a little error, no problem, okay? So, uh, here in the example, we are just asked to calculate as parts again in tons. Because always we need as parts in tons just per highway, alright? 
and the road having us uh, now just look over here the road is circular it means there is a curve in the road all right and the radius of this circle circular uh, road or curve is 3008 and the central angle or uh, the deflection angle is 90 degree 25 feet is just a breadth and 6 inch again is the thickness of this spot layer this time uh, the density is little change it's 140 pounds per CFT dense spot. Let me just draw uh, how, how the road or the highway must look like. This is just a circular shape, alright? And the radius and the central angle is given over here. Remember, the radius must be the, uh, 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 the radius of uh, uh, the arc palming uh, just at the center of this uh, road all right that's that's quite simple so all data is given everybody okay i just come straight into solutions in the solution my approach is the weight of a spot it's common and the weight of a spot just in tons for calculation of this guy we must need the volume and we'll multiply this guy with density we can get the weight of a spot. It's quite simple. So uh, I can say the weight of a spot equals the volume. What will be the volume? All right. I have already told you that the volume must be cross section area times length. And now here the cross section area is just breadth times thickness, and the length makes the guy just volume. So uh, these three guys uh, are the multiplication of these three guys. Is just volume I'll multiply density with these three so I can get the weight of a spot now just look the weight of a spot must be length but the length is not given over here we must calculate this guy and here is the question which one length should I uh, just uh, plug over here in this equation this enter interior length but it's minimum what if I put this external length but that's maximum I think so which one should I give or I plug over here yes it's the center line length so I need the length of the center line it's quite simple let me just calculate over here the length of curve is always the central angle times pi times r divided by 180 it means 180 here the theta is just the central angle the pi is a known video the r is the radius and 180 is just uh, uh, to convert actually the length is pi r but the pi uh, this uh, theta must be in radians but here we have in degree so we just multiply this term with pi divided by 180 this is how this formula comes into play uh, don't worry, inshallah, I'll make another video based on uh, the, eleme the elements of curves. In that video, we'll be calcu uh, also calculate uh, the length, uh, the tangent line length, all right, and the car length and something stretch. So uh, that's not our problem here, all right. Uh, we must get the length equals, uh, just plug and check in over here, 90 times 5 times radius which is given divided by 180 so you must get the length equals 471.24 bit this central length just put this guy over here times the breadth is given which is 25 times the thickness is 0.5 which is 6 inch look at over here what's the density it's 140 alright just put this guy over here so you must get the weight of a spot equals 824668 but the density is in pound the weight must be in pounds but in the example just look at this first sentence we are just asked or demanded to calculate the spot in tons it means we must calculate uh, divide this guy by 2204 to convert the pounds into tons because just 110 equals 2204 pounds, alright? The weight must be 
374.16 tons so this was just our second approach and we have done it 374.16 tons a spot is just required for this long circular road all right so what nothing thank you for watching see you next time and wassalam